So as the bunkers are now somewhat in play, I thought we'd take the opportunity to take you through a greenside bunker shot, what is also known as the splash shot. And the reason it gets its name splash shot is really through, through the noise. Uh, as you hit this greenside bunker shot, you never want to hear that click of the golf ball. You are literally taking the sand before the ball and exiting after the ball, so you'll hear this, psh, this sort of explosion of the sand, which sounds like a splash. So with that in mind, we'll take you through a few little tips, and ultimately this is all about what I call entrance and exits. So you, you are looking to enter the sand two to three inches before the ball and to exit after the golf ball. Now in order to do that efficiently, a lot of it's to do with the choice of the golf club you've got to use. So always use one of your most lofted clubs, either your sand wedge or your lob wedge. And the idea of these clubs specifically is that they have a, a sole design. They have what they call bounce. So what you'll see here, look, is on the front edge of the golf club as we have, we have the leading edge of the club. Now as you go into a bunker shot, you never want that leading edge going into the sand. You want more of this sole to go into the sand. And the bounce will allow the club to sort of skid through the sand. So what you have to do is you have to take the golf club look and twist it, open the club face. That allows that sole of the golf club to enter the sand correctly and skid through the sand. Now, what a lot of people are scared about is as they open the club face, is they'll believe that the ball will move out to the right. That won't happen. As I say, you enter before, you exit after the ball. So in theory, that club face will never ever touch the ball so it can't influence where it goes so you open the club face secondly the width of your stance I want you to make it wider than normal the wider your stance becomes you'll see me here if you look at the level of my head as I go wider you'll see me sort of start to drop lower that's great for a bunker shot because it allows you to get to the base of the golf ball so we come in we put that twist in the club face so we open it and then grip it don't grip it and then open it we get wider in this stance, and then you wiggle your feet in. That's allowing you to get deeper still, but also it gives me an idea of the texture of the sand to get a sense of what this feels like. And this is the key area. You'll see here as I hit this shot, I'm gonna hit this maybe 10 or 15 yards over the lip of this bunker here. Watch how much swing that I put onto the, onto the club, both sides. Be committed. So many people are, sort of get scared in a bunker. You see the first one where they are, they're moving back and they're trying to lift the ball up easier to hit the sand first or to thin it and the classic is that person that will make a golf swing try and hit the sand and it's a stop probably one of the worst things you can do twist the club face open it up build that wide stance get nice and low and as you are addressing the ball behind the club don't put it close to the golf club here golf ball golf ball sorry Move it behind the point of entrance. Pick a spot in the sand that you want to enter. Allow the club to rest there, look. Be committed and splash that ball out. Hopefully those tips will help you out. See how it goes when you go out there and play.